Hey folks, we're out here at J2 Taxidermy in Manhattan, Montana. Like the coolest place you should go if you get to Southwest Montana, but call Jesse in advance to make sure he's gonna be here because he hunts a lot. So we're out here to show you the cool way of how a Euro mount gets done with dermested beetles. Did I say that right, Jesse? Yep, dermested. Dermested, oh, yep. I always call them dermested. Yeah, it's a little of both. A little of both, yep. All right. The only thing we wish is that you could be here to smell these beetles doing their work. The video is like only two dimensional. They say the fourth plane in film. Isn't that what you film people say, Marcus? The fourth plane? Don't break the, is it the fourth wall? Fourth wall. Yeah. Well, the <laughs> fifth is. wall is smell. And if you come to a taxidermy shop that uses beetles, you'll know what I'm talking about. But Jesse's going to walk us through, start to finish, because he did my moose last year. Dale running the camera, and Marcus dropped off some paddlefish. He did that for him. And when it's all done, you're going to see what a cool process this is. So, we ready? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Oh. So here's the stinky part. One of the stinky parts is the beetles. So I just threw that buffalo jaw in how many they'll eat what eight times their body weight a day or something to get all that taken care of yeah they'll eat uh well this particular tank during my general season that'll this will eat about 15 deer a day these beetles will eat 15 deer a day yep so this <laughs> tank i've got i've got four beetle tanks so so do you, do you get some breeders Yep, so the little uh, <laughs> the little black ones in there do they're the adults. Okay. And then the long long ones are all the larvae and they do all the, most of the eating. Really? So. so how many beetles are in this? Right now them? there's there's about half a million in this tank is all. Half million? Yeah. So they uh, hit, you need a lot of beetles to strip a skull down. So to do it quickly. So we, we don't like to stick more than what they'll eat in a day in them. Okay. Just because you don't like them. Don't like them sitting in the tanks too long. 15 deer a day. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is... So that's the start. Pretty much the first step. Uh, we'll, we'll skin them and get, take the eyes, brains, anything, any meat we can get off of the knife comes off. Okay. And then... So you so do that prep for it? I do, yeah. Okay. So, uh, some guys... A lot of the backcountry guys, they'll, they'll bring them in already stripped down just to save weight yeah. on them. So. Huh. And then we'll throw them in, usually a day, they're all done. And then on to degreasing is where they go next. Degreasing, what's that? Yeah. So I've got a degreasing uh, room. Warning, this is going to smell even worse. So <laughs> if I have a weak stomach, don't be standing in the doorway here. <laughs> This is what we degrease them in. Uh, I've got in this tank right now. We have a bunch of predators, and they've been degreasing okay. for a couple since uh, late spring when uh, bear season ended. Really? So they'll probably go another month or so, and then we'll pull so them out. So it looks like you have them in some sort of cheesecloth container or something. Predators, I do. Uh, helps keep all the teeth together because okay, so um, they will. The teeth will fall out during this process, and we like to. I don't like to fight figuring out whose teeth, who's belong, teeth to belong to who. So <laughs> it's just easier to keep them all together. And so what kind of is this a chemical? Or is it is. It's just a commercial grade degreaser. Oh. Um, available just about anywhere. Okay. So if these were deer heads or elk heads or whatever. You'd walk in here and they'd be stacked there? Yep, they'll just be stacked all the way through. I can fit about eight to 10 elk heads in each tank. This is about half of our degreasing tanks. I have a, another shop across the way with more, just because that's our hold up through the entire process is okay. getting them degreased. It is. Uh, wow. To do it properly, it just takes quite a bit of time and, yeah. uh, to get a quality job. Yeah. Well, looking at my moose, you did a great job on that. I was really impressed. Appreciate it. So. And after this, we will uh, whiten them, or deodorize and then whiten them. 
how do you deodorize something like this? It's pretty proprietary on that one, okay. so All right. we're, we're about the only guys doing it. And, okay. Um, I don't know if you smelled some some beetle shock skulls. They've got a very pungent odor yeah. to them. Yeah. And, uh, and that's because they don't deodorize them. Yeah. That's okay. that's kind of what we've gathered over the last few years, just trial and error. And what we've discovered, and a lot of people really like it because they can hang their wall trophy right on the wall without having to have it sit in the garage for three like, years. Exactly. <laughs> so cleaning, degreasing, deodorizing, whitening. Whitening, and then finish curing, which basically just let them dry and air out, and then they're ready to go home. Yeah. Ready for your wall. Well, we don't want to give away your proprietary secret about deodorizing, so we'll skip that step. That'll work. Can we go to the whitening? <laughs> yeah. Or is that proprietary? That's not proprietary, but it's just something I do in the shop. Well, cool, let's go look at that. Yeah. Sit right here and dunk them all and let them sit for a week or two. So with the whitening agent, you let them go for another week or two there? With it on it, yeah. So and let then, it soak in really well and then... These are basically way to be picked up, finished products. If you're wondering what a pronghorn looks like, there you go. So there you have it folks, that is how this process works. And if you want someone who does it really good, come see Jesse at J2 Taxidermy in Manhattan, Montana. We'll put all of his contact information down here. You, you do a website? Yep. Yeah, you do. Website. Normally I was going to your Facebook page, but it looks like Facebook got mad at you or something. They did, yeah. So. Yeah, they're, they're mad at me most of the time yep. also. So blow up your Facebook. Come to J2 Taxidermy and drop your skulls off here. Well, thanks for letting us come out, Jesse. Really appreciate yes, it. Thanks absolutely. for Thank doing you. the work for us. Thanks for doing their, uh, their paddle fish. And uh, hopefully people come out here and... Your goal is 2,000 skulls the next year. Yes, it is. We're going to help you meet that. I appreciate it. We'll, we'll bring Thank our you. own, but all of you folks, help us out here. Jesse quit his day job so he can do this full time. His goal is 2,000 between August 1st of 2020 and July 31st of 2021. We're here to make sure that he gets over 2,000. Thanks for watching.